following pictorial directions to understand procedural text. There are many reasons we need to learn to follow directions. We follow directions in school, at home, at the park, and in many other places. A lot of places use pictures to help us understand the directions. Have you ever seen picture directions? Where? Maybe you've seen directions at the dentist telling you how to brush your teeth. At the Redbox machine, you will see directions explaining how to return your DVD. A lot of the time, there are words that go along with these directions. But most of the time, there are also pictures. As you look at the picture directions, you will see exactly what you need to do in order to be successful in your task. Think about the last time you got a cool new toy. Were there directions in the box? If there were, I bet there were pictures to help you learn how to use the awesome new toy or game. Directions are usually written in step-by-step -step format or sequence, meaning you must follow a specific order. Words like first, second, next, and last may also be included in the directions. Along with pictures and time order words, you may see specific signs to help you understand the directions. If you see an arrow pointing to the right, that sign would mean to go to the next step. A rounded arrow may want you to turn something. Maybe there is a stop sign in the directions telling you to stop or that the task is complete. Understanding these signs and symbols will help you follow picture directions. Imagine you are going to art class for the first time and you are using paintbrushes. Afterward, you'll need to wash them, right? By the sink, you notice a sign with pictures. These pictures are directions telling you how to wash your brushes. Even though this is your first time, the picture directions will help you. First, you see a picture of a paint-filled brush. Next, you notice an arrow pointing to the right. After that, you see a sink with running water and a paintbrush under the faucet. The next picture shows water being turned off. And finally, there's a stop sign. By following the picture directions and signs, you'll be able to help out the art teacher by making the paintbrush clean as a whistle. Once you learn to follow picture directions, you can follow a recipe, science experiment, game instructions, and so much more. Just follow the steps and you'll find success.